What's up, YouTube? Today is day 30. I made it to day 30 of my 100 day challenge. So, um, there were a lot of times that I thought I would not continue the challenge, so I'm glad that I did stick it through. And I am down 17.5 pounds. I am so happy, and I finally got a new scale. So, it's on this scale. This was like $25 at Walmart. It's a health meter. It does really body fat and stuff like that, but it's not something I need to be concerned about. And it weighs accurately, it weighs me accurately, him accurately, bro accurately. So I'm guessing it's anyway to five pounds extra <laughs> accurately. So I'm guessing that is pretty much on point in it. So if I lost seventeen point five pounds, so goddamn when I'm breaking it. <laughs> Um, other than that, um, things have gotten a whole lot better. Like I said, I was going to try to make my next update way more positive than my first, well, my last like, one was. So I'm glad that things were turned around on that. So that's good. I'm um, trying to keep the video under 10 minutes because maybe I got things to do. Um, hair wise, things are going pretty good. I've got pretty much most of the breakage to stop. Um, a good bit of, I'm expecting to strategy. It's just like the white bulb at the end of the hair. I'm okay with that. Um, other than that, it's like I don't, yeah, hair wise, like it's not fragrance. I'm just I'm seeing more of the shed hairs, and that's not really like me every day either. So, like I said, I'm trying to keep comfort out of my hair so I get that situation I'm done. The only tweaks to my regimen have been um, hair day. Black tea rinses to clean my hair up, um, which I'll be doing one tonight. What is it, sweetie? Sorry, y'all. Um, other than that, it's like my hair. I did. Um, I didn't do like a full like cut it even trim. I just did more of a get rid of the dead ends and the breakage one trim, and that's got my hair looking a whole lot more healthy. Although I'm getting ready to wash it, so. One side's getting a whole lot fuller, and like I can tell that it's getting a whole lot thicker, and it's still soft. <laughs> so, thank you for watching for that. Um, somebody had asked me that since I wasn't seeing the um, the results from Potion, was I still going to keep using? And I just want to clarify something. It's not that for me, it's not that Potion does not work as a, as a growth aid. For me, it does work. My issue is not growing my hair, it's maintaining my length, <laughs> which has been a bit of a struggle, but I'm getting better. Um, and of course, I was a hoe using the stupid sulfur oil and the potion oil, which they, yeah, they have. So, it's not to me not that potion, yeah, yeah, it's not that potion does not work for me, it's that I have got to get better with the day to day maintenance and I've got to stop being lazy with my hair. So, over the last 30 days, I have learned more things about my hair. And I've learned a lot of things. I'm going to do a video about called things I wish I had known. <laughs> way back when, um, when I do that. So, that was doing pretty good, pretty happy on my hair so far. Um, hopefully over the next six weeks, um, I did um, add peppermint and eucalyptus oil, so my hair is like a big mint. Also, new favorite product. I, I am absolutely hooked. this only use it for me. This is the organic, organic coconut milk. It's sulfate free. It's, a, it's technically an organic product, and it's like six dollars at Walmart. I love this stuff. It's a really, really lightweight oil. It puts me in the mind of argan oil, which I love for my hair too. But I have been to salads for getting recently. But it's it's really lightweight. It's got a great scent to it. Gives you a great slip. It's also an anti-breakage serum. Yeah, anti-breakage serum. So I've been using it on my ends, and since my co wash schedule is picked up like every other day now, it's really good on damp hair. So I use it like every other day. Got to get a new bottle of them because yeah, I use a lot of them. Um, other than that, potion is still the same. Um, hopefully, since I've got rid of like the breakage and stretch issue, I should be seeing more growth retention going forward. And hopefully, like I said, I want to even out over a while. I really wanted to dye my hair. But I'm gonna hold off on that till I get my hair back to a healthier state and then go from there. So that's how my hair is. Um, moving on to what I'm so excited about. As I did in my last video, I told y'all I was going to be starting the HCG protocol. And I got my shots today, so I'm ready to 
But my girl came to know today. Amazon got really good shipping. I ordered these on last Thursday and I got them today. So Amazon's got great shipping. So I'm really happy with them. But this, um, I got a homeopathic version because I'm kind of afraid of, well, I hate shots. And I don't want to spend a whole lot of money on something I did not know was going to work for me or not. So I was going to start with the homeopathic first. And if I get good results from that, I may move on to the actual, um, like the prescription array HG, which I don't think I need. Um, but so I'm a cute little dropper. And you're supposed to put one, two, three, four, five, six. I said it. Yeah. Two more. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know I'm doing on top of this stuff. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's Bye. You know your subscribers like the candy. No, baby. You like with this. You go away. Bye. Ignore them. Anyways, um, Direction of day, place six drops on your tongue six times per day or as directed. And shake the bottle six, ten times for you using it. I am going to be doing ten drops three times a day. And I'll start this tomorrow. Thankfully, well, I'm kind of afraid about my load days because, like, for the first two days of doing HG, we start taking a drop. You're supposed to fat load. And I uh, do this to me today. Stop this. Sorry, it's I need to get a better camera that lasts longer. <laughs> but, um, all the thing, because we're going to make that noise again, so shut up. Um, what was the thing? Oh, drop. So, if I guess you take 36 drops a day, I'm going to take 30 to start off with, and I'll adjust my dosage going forward if I need to. Um, other than that, I did my grocery shopping. <laughs> grocery shopping for HCG is very, very cost effective because, like, 10 things you can have on the list. That's, I got strawberries cucumbers, lettuce, cabbage, asparagus, um, apples, oranges, grapefruit, chicken breast, tilapia, and lots of green beans. That's about it. Um, water wise, don't hold me to this. I'm gonna try to give it I'm gonna try to do I'm gonna take two and a half. This is my Vermont water bottle and I like it because I get a little pet with it and my dear fishy. I'm probably like the only person that does it, but I love small water bottles because I get a little fish. <laughs> and fish, a little fish, and it's cute. And I fish around the bottles just because they have a little animal inside. I've got an otter, a crab, <laughs> and a fish. <laughs> so, I love small water bottles. I, for some reason, can't find them when it has like the flip top on it. I gotta get me another one of those. But I'm gonna try to, each bottle is a quart. It's weird pretty much. I'm going to try to get at least two of these, two of these you know, hopefully like two and a half to three liters of water every day. Um, I will be using, because I'm not drinking plain water. I'll try y'all. Can't do it. So I've got Neo, Crystal Light, and pretty much um, a lot of flavored sugary bags. Um, they're, most of them have stevia in them. My hair is itching. But um, other than that, I stocked up on green tea. This is my green tea. I've got Little green tea, black currant, and vanilla, and white mango cream, and peach, which, which are all really good teas. Um, so hopefully I'll keep, they should pretty much cure my um, sweet craving and stuff like that. So that's why I got those. And I've got stevia to sweeten them. Other than that, um, the 500 calories is like the norm, but like I said, I was going to do the modified version of 800 calories. I'm going to try to stay as close to the 500 calories as I can, but I'm not going to break my neck to do it. Um, for the time I started getting hungry or something like that, I'll, I'll, the only thing I didn't get was like the mellow toast because I don't think I like those, so I can do without the bread. Um, the other thing I bought yesterday was my, because here it's not, it's 3.5 ounces of um, meat for the um, protocol. It's 100 rounds. So, I bought me a scale just so I can try to stay as consistent as possible. Here let's go down from Walmart. Um, it's five dollars. It comes with easy to... I just dropped a little thing up. But you get a scale thingy, cup thingy, and a handle. 
thing is, which I have no idea what y'all say. But um, pretty much it's just a way my food to see how much I'm eating. So I can see it on um, the call as possible. Since I am now 17.5 pounds, <laughs> which I, I, I love man. Um, that really means I have 30 two and a half pounds to my 50 pounds goal, which I'm really hoping that I can definitely get a protocol. So, that's about it for my update. Um, as always, I do thank y'all so much for watching. So, I know it's fine, hush. Anyways, as always, y'all, stay sweet and be blessed.